widespread freeze and frost expected tonight in North Florida. I'm Jeff Hoffman from the WRUF Weather Center, and we're not alone this time. I wanted to start by showing you how far south into Florida the freezing temperatures and the frosty conditions will move tonight because of clear skies and high pressure pretty much centered right overhead. We're talking about a light freeze in the blue all the way past I-4 to the north shores of Lake Okeechobee and frost in the suburbs of Miami, West Palm, and Fort Lauderdale and Fort Myers. I don't think the cities will see the frosty conditions, but the outlying areas are all the way down to the Everglades. A really cold night for the state as a whole. Here locally, here are your numbers. Now, most areas will be below freezing, and this is not an event where it's colder up in Lake City per se than Ocala. All areas of inland North Florida will drop below freezing because of the clear skies and the light winds overhead. This is not an advection freeze. This is a radiation freeze. 28 in High Springs, 29 in Williston. So because of the clear skies, light winds, the high pressure, any warmth we have escapes quickly. Temperatures will be below freezing for four to six hours in the rural areas two to four hours in the urban areas and a widespread frost also likely, especially in the rural locations. All right, so we got one cold night, Florida. We're going to warm up tomorrow, right? No. So the next five nights, we have some chilly weather, especially the first three here. We got tonight's low 29, tomorrow night's low 33, and then another blast of cold air comes in Saturday and Saturday night. Then finally, we start to climb out of the basement Monday and Tuesday. Lows back close to normal. So the high pressure, as I told you, is right overhead. Here it is. Look at the light winds, the very small wind arrows. That shifts quickly to the east tomorrow, and we briefly get a warm-up ahead of our next cold front that will be arriving tomorrow night. So... Your Friday afternoon, not bad. Tomorrow night, the front comes in just after midnight. Really cools us down again on Saturday and Saturday night with high pressure close by. And then that slides to the south on Sunday. More of a westerly wind off the Gulf will start to warm us up. The next cold front Sunday night misses us to the north. It's the beginning of about a three or four day warm up for us. Here's your updated six day and yeah, you're going to feel nice Friday afternoon briefly, but then all of a sudden we turn colder again Friday night. Saturday's high only 53. Sunday back into the 60s, close to 70 Monday. Our next storm system could bring us a shower or two Tuesday and another blast of cold air next Wednesday or Thursday.